Hi, everybody. This is If Yarn Could Talk with Vicki and Asia. Hello. I'm Vicki. I'm the owner of Island Yarn. This is my daughter, Asia. Hi. She does all our social media, video editing. And such. And such. This is Chloe. Her primary goal is to show you her butt and to show you her face and to purr in our ears. And to purr. She's yes. doing all of those things already. She's, She's doing so good. Amazing. Yes. She's amazing. Isn't she so good? Did you miss her? Sorry we were gone. We all got COVID. I still sound a little, a little sniffly, but I'm fine. I just sound a little gross. Or sultry. Do you think I sound sultry, Asia? Hello. It's not a thing you ask your daughter. No. <laughs> no. That's why there's, there are some moments in life where you really just got to take it in the give like the office, the mm -hmm. office camera look. That yeah. was what definitely one of those. Oh, moments. I do it to you sometimes when we're filming too. It's okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know because I edit it. I know. <laughs> Chloe, do you think I sound sultry? She says you sound like you're not feeding me tree chet, and that yeah, sounds says, horrible to she me. She says you sound like hurry it up. Yeah, so we've we've been pretty busy, even though we did our stupid COVID thing and everything. Like it's August, which in yarn store terms is a little bit early fall. I know it doesn't feel like fall out yet, but it's when like new fall stuff comes in. So I actually have a load of stuff to show you guys today because we missed a few weeks and a whole bunch of stuff came in and it was all fun yarny chaos. Yep. What are you working on today, Asia? I think I'm making a new sleevey. A new sleevey. Your sleevey is very cute. Yeah, I like my sleevey. So I think I'm going for another sleevey. Okay. Um, I... I don't know where this pink yarn came from. I think you said you had an idea of what it was. I did not. It's cashmerino bulky. Um, but it was very, like this, like, very, this pink, pink was, uh, like the softest and like most fun thing to use. So, but also it might be old. They don't, they have this or no? Um, I don't have it. It's not a yarn I stock. Oh, it was from D-Stash. Um, or from like sample skeins or something when people were trying to sell me that yarn. I don't dislike it. I just sort of already have stuff in the store that's too much like it. That's fair. So, well, that's good, though, because it's very nice. So Yeah, it is nice. Um, and then, I have the sport weight of it, which a lot of people use for like baby things or other washable. Because washable... I mean, your whole thing probably won't be washable because you're going to use a million yarns and that'll probably negate its washability. But mm. your little cuff is washable. I did, in fact, wash the other sleeves. It did okay? Fine. Did you didn't dry it, though, right? You dried mm. it flat? Yeah, I dried it flat. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Most of the time, like, you can wash at least cool, gentle, almost anything. The dryer is the thing that really kills everything. Yeah, definitely didn't do that. Yeah. Um, but now I'm going, I found, I was searching the depths, as in the house, um, for some, the next color sleety, sleety color, whatever. And I found this Nimbus, Juniper Moon for Nim Nimbus. It's cotton and nylon. And I thought it, it looked very nice, this like, what would you call this color? It's almost like a maroon, but... It's like purplier, though. Yeah, it's a little purplier than maroon. That's nice. There's a little bit of that... I don't know about that color, but there's a little bit of that still in our sale bin. Yeah. Sadly, it's a goner, but um, it was a nice one. Mm -hmm. You're going kind of bulky with this one. This is also a bulky. Well, I, I think I went fairly bulky with the other one as well. Oh, yeah. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind I think I'm excited for fall. Because now my birthday has passed, which also was in our little break, I believe. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so now I'm like, all right, summer's over. Done. All right. And it's Halloween. That's right. Because that's what I do. birthday is the end of summer. Ye well, I like to think of it more as the beginning of Halloween. Yeah. Speaking of... And fall, the beginning of Ren Fair season. Fall so. and all those fun seasons. This is actually going to be our only podcast for August. Oh, yes. Um, because we're going to Scotland. Yeah, we are we're, getting out. We're getting out of here. <laughs> this is our 2020 trip that we finally rescheduled. So 
We are out of here yeah, at the end we, of August, yeah. which means this is the only podcast for this month. Yeah. I'll try to throw together a tutorial, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah. You know, August we'll be might just be a Scotland. little video light kind of month. Mm -hmm. but, but there's a bunch of other episodes that you can catch up on if you haven't to watched those. Yeah. Um, and we have all of our fun little videos on social media. So if you haven't checked that out either, then. Yeah, all sorts to catch up on. Lots of fun stuff over there as well. I'm working on a sweater. Nice. And I probably shouldn't have started this row because it's a really long row and now I have to show you a ton of yarn. Oh. But I will show you the best thing about this sweater is that I've decided, you know, you guys know I don't really design a ton of sweaters, mostly because I don't have patience for sleeves, but um, I did decide that all of the future sweaters I design, all of them, which is probably too much of a statement, but... I'm going to say it anyway, because who cares, um, are going to have pockets. See, pockets. Yeah, pockets make everything better, honestly. They really do. And, like, I mean, you just want a pocket, don't you? It has a pocket on the other side, too. But. I mean, as a woman, yeah. I think all of us need a little bit more pocket in we, our lives. We do need more pockets. We do. I'm, yeah. I've never been a very good purse carrier. You're a little better than me, but. More of like a backpack girl. Yeah, I mean, whenever I've tried to carry a purse, I inevitably leave it in a shopping cart. I'm just not good at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely a tricky one. Yeah. I have even left my wallet that is just kind of... It's kind of like a small purse, I guess. I imagine it's just like a training thing. Like, if I really did it for a long time, like, people who have always carried a purse probably never do that. Well, I would love to be like a tote bag person, but that's... I can't deal with it sliding off my arm all the time, and I have a similar problem with purses, which is why I like the two-strap backpack method. Oh, I like the crossbody. Like, if a purse can't go crossbody, I'm not interested. Hmm. I mean, uh, there are some that are, like, super multifunctional. That's so true. Not like it, do whatever. But I'm more of a backpack person because the crossbody, well, the crossbody is nice, but sometimes I want to, like, put a jacket on, and then I'm like... It's having true. to reach into the jacket, but yeah, that's the other thing. Like, it's okay when you're not wearing coats. Like sometimes, yeah, you can manage it. But then once you add a coat onto it, then it's like oh, you need is pockets this inside or the south. Side? Yeah. So where do you guys stand? Pockets or purses? I'm curious. I think that in I think that this era. This is the era of the pockets. This is Asia the era has decreed of it. the pockets. I just need a pocket big enough to carry Clo around with me. Oh, actually, that's funny. Well, I also, in addition to um, all the other stuff that prevented us from podcasting the last couple weeks, um, I also went camping. I went to the Saco River. That didn't really prevent us, though. No. That was just part of the fun you that was, actually that was managed fun. to have. That was fun. Um, and, um... Dog pocket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, we had a couple pups with us, and one of them was this tiny little boy, and we love him. His name is Tank. Um, he's and tiny. To he's be named Tank. so tiny. He's smaller than Chloe. Um, and uh, my girlfriend, who is his deemed auntie, um, she actually needed to hold him for a while because he is, he is very, um, he's one of those dogs that shakes Aww. when he can't see his his person in view. Oh, so, so pathetic. Yeah. So while the, you know, while we were trying to get ready, um, my girlfriend actually had to hold him and zipped him into a, 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 like a hoodie. And he was just so small and he was just able to like yeah. stay there. So, I, think, I think my sister and her family carry their tiny dog around like that. In the too. hoodie, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, she's so really small, so I don't even know how much they can zip it up. Yeah. She I, could literally fit in a pocket. Yeah. it's That dog is ridiculous. Do we, we have a picture of Daisy, don't we? I made Daisy a hat one time when I was there, so that that picture must be floating around if you want to try to... If I can find it. She's like this big. She's so... Stupid and tiny. She's like an actual, the size of a little potato. She's so cute though. And she oh looks like a little potato. She does look like a furry little potato mm -hmm. with a little plaintive face. Yeah. Please give me love. Plaintive. So cute. Anyway, well, we're tangential this time. See, we're catching up. Mm -hmm. Catching up on everything. 
Well, I do have a ton of things to show you, so I should probably get to it, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Asia hasn't even seen most of this stuff. But she did see. These were, I did make a batch of new Mad Balls since we've been away. This gorgeous sort wow. of greeny teal. There's a few left. There's not a ton left. Mm -hmm. um, so you might want to grab one of those. And just to go a little bit out of order, kind of, just a different order. Chloe is also very interested. And we also release, she wants the plastic bag. She loves plastic bags. She does. I also released this new Brioche Mobius Mad Ball Cowl today. Not today. I also the day released. Of the, the day of our taping, yeah, like four days ago. Mm -hmm. So now this is the 21st pattern that you get with wow. your Mad Balls. Your collection is old enough to drink now. Oh my God, my collection can drink now. That's amazing. <laughs> I wonder what kind of drink. I feel like Mad Balls would really like or like a really fruity drink that's like umbrellas oh, yeah. and sparklers. Some sort of like Cosmo... Ex extra Cosmo type. Yeah, or like a really pink Daiquiri. drink. I'm p oh, yeah. Daiquiri. Yeah, daiquiri. Yeah, yeah, like a mango strawberry daiquiri with an umbrella and a sparkler on the top. Yeah. I think that's what a Mad Ball would drink. I would agree. <laughs> yeah, so you can you get all those patterns for free when you grab yourself a Mad Ball. It comes in a download. Mm -hmm. This one is really fun. You can find the tutorial for the brioche the two color Mobius cast on, on our tutorials. Yep. And I don't know. I think that's all I have to say about that. Is it? It's really fun. <laughs> so those were a new pattern and new mad balls. And then we got a bunch of new yarn. So I'm going to put this online. This is Lana Grossa. Lana Grossa is actually one of my all time favorite yarn companies. Um, I don't have a ton of their stuff in the store just because of like where they ship from. It cost me a fortune to get it. Did you see her eyes? Did you see her <laughs> eyes? So this is a new sparkle yarn. It's very fine, which means you could hold it with pretty much anything to add some sparkle to all your projects. It's called Berlino. I know, really it is. Pretty. This, this is a good green, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They, ooh, I'm just seeing flowers. Someone make some flowers with this stuff. I think I'm going to make a sparkly coconut hat, which is another thing I have to tell you about in a minute, but I just feel like it should sparkle now. Now yeah. that I have sparkle to add to it and I dyed some of this color, Sherwood, our color Sherwood, and it would go perfect with this. Yeah. So, yeah, this is Lana Grossa. This really needs to be on one. hooks and needles. Immediately. It, immediately. Yeah. And like, I have to tell you, there's a ton of yardage in here. It's 220 yards on this. But so isn't tiny. It, I know. Isn't it like the cutest little, it's so cute. See, it's smaller than Clohead. You know, the way to win, I guess, I was going to say the everybody, way to win at yarn. but me, over is always to make it smaller. I know. Because I, I don't know if you've also seen my earrings, my one of my friends got me this for my birthday. These little earrings that are like little needle felted um, kittens. And I just think that they're are like... They needle felted? I don't, think I don't really know what they are. are. But they feel like some sort of something. Oh, there's some. Um, yeah. There's some kind... Of, I don't even know what this process is, but I have a little cat from when I was little. You guys must know what this is. This is kind of like felt but it's like just a felt covering on like yeah. wood balls kind of. Yeah. They're so cute though. Yeah. So they, this is just, you just have to make it small. Yeah. And then it's poor. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, there's our sparkle. I'm pretty sure I didn't get to show this off either. This is actually what is in my sweater with the pockets. This Katmandu Aaron. That's pretty. I think, oh, maybe I did show it. Oh no, I was going to get it. I remember telling you how I'm kind of dumb that I have Katmandu fingering, which is amazing. And now I have Katmandu Erin, which is amazing. But actually my favorite is Katmandu DK. So I'm probably going to have to fix that fairly soon because I don't have that. Oh yeah, you definitely. Even though it's my that. favorite. Like that's very dumb. That is very dumb. I know. What are you going to do? Sometimes you're dumb. This is Lands de Nord Poema Alpaca. Look at this. This one is much larger than Chloe's head. 
Oh, wow, that's very pretty. Yeah. Can I squish it? Yeah. Oh, that has good squishability factors. Yeah. And this is really great because it's like a brush yarn, but it's alpaca. So those of you guys who like love that kind of brushed mohair -y look, but get the, the itchies from the mohair. Wait. Was it even the last episode? Was I not asking you just so recently what I could make those light little fluffy tops with? Oh, yeah. But not have it be mohair because I can't do mohair. Yeah, and I said there was a couple brushed alpacas, right? But I didn't even know if I had any. But guess what? Now I have one. Look at that. Yep. And it's gorgy. It is gorgy. There, there's lots of other <laughs> colors, too. So check the website. I, I had so much stuff to bring home today. It was really hard to, like, select the colors. Mm. But as usual, I try to bring home colors that will make Aisha's eyes light up so that, you know. It's more entertaining for you. Yeah. Oh, look. I also brought this for the Katmandu. Ooh. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Look at them together. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. I was gonna. I was kind of immediately thinking of that purple with the with the with the with the green sparkle. Oh yeah, with the green sparkle because I, I'm a kind of a sucker for purple and green. It just reminds me of like flower, not Wimbledon flower. What? Apparently, it's the Wimbledon colors, which I didn't even know. Who knew? Lisa told me whenever I make purple and green Mad Balls, she's like, "I love these. They remind me of Wimbledon." They remind me of lilacs, but to each their own. Right. <laughs> Lilacs, irises, yeah. Violets. Gardens in general. So on and so forth. Okay. Or Wimbledon. So this is, hi, Chloe. She's so helpful, you guys. This is the last yarn, which I think maybe the color card isn't great online, because when Asia looked at it, she was a little mad about it. But now please watch this response. Ooh. Now squish it. Ooh. Ew. Aren't they pretty? Ew. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, this is better in person. The color card, I think, is not, and I don't know if this is any better I th yeah, over I think here. Yeah, the color card but, is not showing the depths of color very well. Yeah, it's well. very, the color card I saw was quite gray, mm. and so I thought all these beautiful little bits of, like, periwinkle purple um, were gray, so I was like, I mean, it's fine. It's fine. You, you guys that, know she doesn't like gray. No, I don't like gray. We don't, I don't do that. Nope. But, uh, yeah, there's like no gray in either of these. No. Wow. Yeah, well. And they shade, you know, as you go. It's not like a. Yeah, I, these are one of those ones that I cannot picture. I know. These would be up, better. But they're pretty. In and I think that it would probably. Oh, is because that how then you make they them could prettier? see sort of like the gradient, sort of stripiness of them. Because oh. right, I mean, I hate that when they do that with Noro too, when they put in Hanks, because the whole thing is seeing the stripes play out, and you can't really see it when it's in Hank. Yeah, and then it's hard to like figure out what's going to happen with it. Yeah. So, but I'm going to have this on the needles very soon. This is Mirasol Miss Me, by the way, M I S M I, and it's 100% baby alpaca. So. That's why it's so soft. I think I'm gonna do a scarf. I think I'm gonna do just like a traditional sort of cable scarf with it. Maybe a reversible cable scarf. We'll see. I would wear a sweater of this. Yeah, you would, but I have to finish that sweater. I actually have another sweater in my bag that, of course, I have to finish. Although that was a prototype, and now I think I know how I want it to go, so I might just restart it with like the actual yarn. Mm. We'll see. So that is most of the yarn, I think, that came in. Maybe there might have been something else that I forgot because, you know, the COVID brain. But we also have a new featured pattern. These are... You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? Do you think you just fell out of a coconut tree? No. I think I was born in Massachusetts, which there's not native. There's no coconut trees. But. No, probably not. Well, <laughs> you might have just fallen out of, like, an elm tree. A pine tree? A pine tree. Like a pine cone? Yeah. I used to think that pine cones were baby raccoons. I thought, <laughs> this is a tangent for sure, sorry. But I did, in fact, when I was a kid, I used to not step on pine cones because 
I thought, I think I thought that they were like eggs, like yeah. raccoon eggs. Yeah, like raccoon eggs. But like, I didn't even think I thought they were like raccoons. I think I was thinking of a different animal. Like I think it was pine cones, but I do have a memory of thinking that pine cones were like the eggs of some sort of mammal, which wouldn't make any sense, but um That's so cute though, I love that. <laughs> so cute and just like the random stuff that kids come up with to explain like I mean a pine cone is a fairly weird Hedgehog. thing. Hedgehog. Yeah. I think that's the animal that I was thinking. Oh, not a raccoon. I thought it was a baby hedgehog. Well, yeah, but in my brain, I kept saying raccoon because also I don't know that I knew what a hedgehog was at that age. Yeah, so I don't know. I guess it turned into a raccoon. I don't. Okay. Um, <laughs> coconut hats. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm sure you've seen some of the coconut stuff going around. Um, if you're not uh, politically into this, I'm sorry, but we are so. Um, <laughs> These are coconuts for freedom because we're all relieved that um, there might be hope on the horizon for our election. And there's a crochet version and a knit version. And when you get one of these kits this month, you can also do them in any color. I'm working on a purple one right now because we like coconuts of all colors. Yep. And just like somebody, I think way out in Oregon maybe, ordered some in our swamp color I think because it's kind of the brat color I'm not really super up on the brat the thing rat color yeah wow guys news breaking news never thought my mother would know brat I I I, I know I know what the other old people tell me about it so I see. Um, well, guys, have yourselves a brat summer, as they say. Yeah, I will confess here and now, I do not know who Chapel Roan is. I know we're all supposed to like them now, but I do not know who that is. We're gonna we're gonna have a little listen party after this because as this per as as the woman who loves eighties music, mm -hmm. you're gonna love Chapel. You're gonna love as I call her Chappy. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it all sounds, what I've heard sounds great. I just, weirdly, I just hear people constantly refer to her. I have not actually heard any of the music or seen her, because I'm old. Well, she is the Midwest queen. <laughs> is she? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I the mean, Midwest princess. I'm sorry. She's yeah. just awesome. I mean, I, I guess we all love her now. So, and that, we do. that's fine. All we're going to have a good. brat summer wearing our coconut hat. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all crazy. It's all crazy and great, guys. I'm just so happy to have, like, hope and joy again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and in that vein, when you get our kit this month in August, you're going to get a free button because I, uh, maybe while I was sick, one of the few things I could do was sit at my computer and make funny little buttons. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. <laughs> kind of made me happy, yeah. So you'll get one of these buttons, either crocheters for Kamala or knitters for Kamala. This is, you probably can't see, but Asia will show a picture, I bet. Yeah, Boom. is that okay? There you go. Um, it's a little it's a little sheep jumping out of a coconut, because why wouldn't a sheep jump out of a coconut? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Why would they not? Why would they not? And then those are really fun and everybody loved them. And so then I lost my mind and made four more. Um, so I made two cat ladies for Kamala. This one has little paw prints. And this one has a cat who is so moony. I just can't even. Yeah, that is uh, the face that I wake up to. Yeah, exactly. And the face that is directly behind you. Yep. As we speak. And then this one was kind of in honor of our cat pumpkin, and there is kind of a logic problem on this one. It says, if you have something to say about my cat, say it to her face, because that was one of her things she kept saying at rallies, was, you know, say it to my face. But it's an orange cat, and they're like never hers, so I understand there's a logic problem. But if we're doing it inspired by our lovely pumpkin, here he is. Um, lovely was a strong word. Um, <laughs> he was gorgeous. Everybody used to think he was a girl. It's true. Everybody used to call. I mean, he was very sheep. prissy. He was. <laughs> he was having a brat summer his whole life. So anyway, this you cat, can get a pen. <laughs> <laughs> this cat seemed like an angry pumpkin to me. Do you see how mad this cat is? Yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, so there's that one. And then I loved this one. This one says, who's ready to make history? And there's all these little paws raising their hands. Yeah, that one's cute. Yeah, I love that one. And then this is the, you know, neutral one. Just for anybody who wants to live in a de democratic country. And it's just a little, little knit V vote. Vote. Yeah. So, yeah, you should get all those. They're for sale. The knitters for Kamala, crocheters for Kamala's come free with your coconut hat kits. But um, the other ones you can you can grab. And I'm going to try to stop making buttons now, but we'll see. Sometimes you get on a roll, and then what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're really fun. Yeah. Although, oh, this last batch, though, so... The place I use to make the buttons is in Rochester, New York. We're in Massachusetts. Some of you guys don't know, but we're in Massachusetts. So pretty quick shipping. And so I was waiting and I thought I was going to get them um, like last Friday. And I went to check the tracking to make sure they were out for delivery. And they were in St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> Which no. is kind of not the right way. I mean, no. Luckily, they turned themselves around and now I have them. But that was kind of an odd path for them to take. They yeah. took the long way. They really did the hokey pokey. Yeah, they took the long way here. So yeah, that's some of our new fun stuff. See, it's amazing we've been having that much fun and new yarn, even though we were all snuffly and gross. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, yarn is fun. That's the moral of that story. Yep. So we do have a fun little recycling project today. Mm -hmm. I should have actually started this earlier, so Asia might have to delight you with some more tangents if I'm going to get anywhere with this. Oh, but yeah. um, So I think I've mentioned a couple times how I like to save all my ends and then make dryer balls out of them. So this is just a pile of ends. Just, you know, you guys have ends. Yep. Yep. This is also kind of an end, but it's a bigger end, and you don't even need this, but you just get yourself a wad of ends. We're going to make the felted dryer balls. Did I say that? No. Okay, we're going to make the felted dryer balls. And I just like to sort of recycle my weird little pile of garbage on the inside because it's a good core. Mm -hmm. So you get yourself another piece of yarn and just kind of wrap it up a little just so it, like, stabilizes it a little. It's good if this is all wool. I actually don't think this is all wool, but it'll still be feltable and fine. That's fine. This is not like a technical how you make a dryer ball. This is just like what I do with my ends to make dryer balls. So I just wrapped it up so it's a little more like less flopping around with all the ends coming out. Mm -hmm. And then this is just some wool. These we have available in the store for like needle felting or for this kind of felting or... Even spinning, although this these particular batches that I dyed, it's not like a really nice wool. It's pretty like scritchy kind of wool. Yeah, you wouldn't want a needle pelt. pelt. Yeah, like it's not. Oh, she doesn't even want it. It's it's not like nice on the on the skin. It's it's scritchy and hardy, and so then you just kind of like pull it apart a little. I think this is called drafting to spinners, but I'm not much of a spinner. I see. And you wrap that around. Just wrap it around, wrap it around. You can also just do this if you have, like, leftover wool. Like, I've done it with, like, my leftover balls of, like, Curion. I'm going to do a little more. Um, yeah, I've done it with just yarn and then done what I'm going to do next. Just wrap it around, wrap it around until you get a nice little blob. You can tuck in all the little extra bits. And then... You make a puffle. From, you make a puffle, yeah. From Club Penguin. And then this is just water with like a little bit of soap in it. And you just get it wet. And you start to... You can also use a felting needle. I didn't want to use a felting needle today because I wouldn't want to accidentally stab Chloe. <laughs> she is always going to be involved in She's podcasts. Always so. involved. And I've learned in our past ones when I thought I was going to demonstrate something that, nope, that's not what Clo wants. No. So you just get it a little wet and you just keep, <coughs> you just do this. I see. And the reason I'm probably not going to keep doing this until it's done is because 
it's really something you just kind of want to do while you're like walking around in the morning or something because it can take like a good half hour to really mm -hmm. really get it done i see yeah so why don't you show us your pillow and i'll see how far i can get okay um well oh gosh okay um well as we know uh last in the last episode i had a little for real one would call one could call it a swatch crocheted swatch mm -hmm. um and today i said well gotta gotta get that ready and that's what i did it's not quite as pillowy as i imagined it to be i might have folded it the wrong way who knows mm -hmm. But in fact, what I did to stuff some of it, I used like other things, including catnip. Um, oh, you used the ends for the stuffing. Yes. That's a smart thing to do. Too. Yes. So, um, and it just like, it like adds a little bulk. I also made another toy, finished another toy for them that I um, had for, well, I was making them since Christmas. Um, but Mooney is very sleepy behind you. Oh, well, he's waking up. He's waking up. So potentially if I waft this at him, maybe Chloe looks interested. We can never do that. offer stuff to Chloe. She's the princess of the podcast, you know. Well, let's see. Well, you know, I I oh, oh, okay. Interest. Um, yeah, there's definite interest in this. Via Chloe. Um <laughs> Uh, and I also, you know, because this is crocheted and it uh, was with for real, so it's not like well, it's not well done crochet. Um, so I, I mean, kind of hard to crochet with for real. Yeah. So what? <laughs> I think that it's working. <laughs> um, slowly, slowly. Yeah. So I kind of put the catnip kind of on the outside because I know our cats, and I know that they like to lick it. Lick, lick the catnip. Yeah, it's gross. They um, like lick the catnip toys until they're soaking wet. Yeah, so I kind of thought like, well, maybe I'll just like leave it on kind of like the outside so that when they lick it, they actually like have to get some of the catnip. So I think it'll be a fun toy for them. Chloe um, is just standing over it. And I think you can see a little fluffy bit of what's going on over here. Um, I haven't think he, I don't think he's figured out it quite yet. And now he has arrived. He has arrived. It, he's not the brightest in the bulb. Oh, but there he goes. Gross. Already licking it. Yeah. Oh, how about we put this here? I really could use a felting needle to help me out with this. It's like already sort of stuck together though, but to like get this all in and even a little, a little needle felting would be nice to sort of put that down and make it easier. But like I said, I'm not gonna do that because those felting needles are super sharp. And I don't want Chloe to get hurt. Yeah, so. now we've kind of been overrun by cats. <coughs> again. Yeah, I think the but. cats are like, um, you guys, you know, there's something that's supposed to happen soon. So how about it? We've been waiting four weeks. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, he lied. Hey, guys. He's going to lick it right off the table. I think he really is. Well, you guys, I call that a success, even though one of them just got water on their tail because oh, I no. think he just flicked and it just went. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well. Okay, I'll put my water over here. Yeah. Um. I, I hope that he it continues to enjoy this and there he goes with it <laughs> right over the edge. So, um, yeah, I'm going to call it a success. I don't know if it was, if it will in turn be more, um, loved than just, you know, the regular piece of yarn. I don't know. I made him a kicker out of the for real remember, and he really likes that. He really he likes it. it. And that's why I gave it a shot because if there was going to be any of them that he would like, just as much as that it yeah. was going to be with for real. So yeah, that really was a good experiment. That. It was a good experiment. God and knows where he's going to put it now. It's probably going to disappear somewhere. And this is great exfoliation. Maybe I should do it with my feet. 
<laughs> yeah, oh. you know what? Since I need a, a felting needle to just sort of get some of these blobs in a little, I'm going to finish this before the next one, which is going to be in like September. It is a really nice way because like your garbage becomes useful as a little core. Yeah. It really delights me. Yeah. Yeah. So and I feel I... like they catch some lint too, which is nice. They do, yeah. And you can like put little essential oil on them. Cause you know the stuff in dryer sheets is like um kind of horrible it's not really good for any of us so you can put like a little lavender oil on them i think i have some wool on my nose put some little lavender oil on them and throw them in there and then your laundry smells like lavender which is delightful yeah or you know i some i use jasmine a lot because i like florals yeah yeah it's really nice and you know if you're always using your ends to make more then Maybe you can find some, even though we can hardly ever find them because they're always mixed up with our laundry. Well, and they also make toys for cats. They as do. Well. They do get stolen by the cats now and then. And if you uh, spray, I know that you wouldn't necessarily, you know, roll it with catnip, but if you had some of that catnip spray, that's a that's a multi-purpose tool right there. We better figure out what these yarns would say. What are your yarns going to say? I'm going to be a sweater with pockets. Oh. Nice. Because I really like that color, but I'd really like a purple one. So you are going to make another sweater. Or a maroon one. I mean, you know, it just depends if I have a new idea at the end of that one or I decide to start the other. It's always hard with sweaters. Like, making multiples is... A time investment. It really is. Um, this, these yarns say, I want to become flowers. I want to become flowers. I want to become purple. Purple little flowers. Sparkly, fun flowers. Yeah. It's the, the time is nigh. Favorite time of day. Oh, hi. Are you interested? It seems like she may be interested. And I think that there's another contestant. Well, this one's almost empty. Finish this one off. Oh, finish it off. Oh no. Here. What a tragedy. We're gonna have to finish this off. Boo boo. Oh there he is. Oh. He's more interested in the container. She will she will play show her your face <coughs> right now instead of her butt. Yeah. Try to keep her facing forward and Mooney. Although Mooney tends to be a little all over the place. Yeah. And there he is. Oh alright. Well that was if Yarn could talk for August. Yep. Yep. We will see you in September. After Happy rest of summer. Happy rest of summer. Goodbye, summer. Can't Hi. say I love you. <laughs> it's time to for sweater time again. Time for sweater and sweater. wool and knitting. Yay. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, make sure you give us a little thumbs, thumbs up. up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't those things and asia will leave links in the below for the stuff we talked about yep and like we said we have uh plenty of other episodes to catch up on if um during our little break here cool. so make sure to check those out in the new tutorials we'll say hi to scotland for you all right bye guys thanks for watching bye <laughs>